What happened to Melanie Rusher from Naked and Afraid? Cause of death revealed. Discovery Channel's Naked and Afraid fans are grieving over Melanie Rusher's demise. She appeared on two seasons of Naked and Afraid and now lost her life at age 35. Naked and Afraid is a series that puts people in a difficult situation when they take away the only things they have, clothes. Melanie was a season 7 contestant of the show. So what happened to the Naked and Afraid former star? How did she die? Melanie Rusher's cause of death revealed. According to TMZ, Melanie was found dead on July 17 in Prescott, Arizona. She was found dead at a residence where she was dog-sitting while the homeowners were on vacation. A rep for the Prescott Police Department said that the homeowners found her dead in the guest room bed after they returned from the vacation. The authority said they found no suicide note and no signs of drug use. Also, the dog which she looked after was fine. Melanie's death is found under mysterious conditions. She was lying dead near the cans of dust cleaners. So the medical examiner from Yavapai County Medical will study and determine her cause of death soon. For now, her cause of death remains mysterious, but her death has been heartbreaking to her friends, family, and fans. Her mother and friend gives her a touching tribute post. Melanie was born and raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and went to Kennedy Henrik High School and Old Dominion University. Melanie also served as U.S. Navy USS Theodore Roosevelt CVN-17 during the Iraq War. She was employed at the Prescott Virginia Medical Center while she passed away. Her obituary said she was an avid outdoor enthusiast who loved nature and all creatures big and small, who loved camping and hiking and finding adventure wherever she could. Melanie's friends, family, and co-workers have been posting tribute posts after her demise. Jeremy and McKay, who also appeared in Season 7 of the Discovery series, took his words about Melanie to Facebook. He said, She came to my life in a way I can't explain. We had such chemistry on the show and it blossomed into a friendship that goes beyond words could describe. Her laughter was one of a kind. Her friendship was amazing. Furthermore, he also shared a message from Melanie's grieving mother. Melanie served honorably in the U.S. Navy and the USS Theodore Roosevelt CVN-17 during the Iraq War and as a result has suffered with PTSD for many years now. Melanie received counseling and at the time of her death was participating in a research study attempting to help other vets who are suffering with PTSD, said her mother. According to her, Melanie's PTSD was getting worse as the research study brought back long-forgotten memories, but she still did not want to give up. In addition, a few weeks before her death, she called her mother in tears. Her mother said that she sobbed and stuttered, which she only does while struggling. She also told her mother that she had trouble falling asleep because of the resurfacing of old memories. Furthermore, the grieving mother said she was self-medicating to lessen her pain and suffering from the past but ended up in tragedy. She then wants people to remember her for other things. She said Mel's was life well lived and her passing has left a void in her lives that will never ever be filled. She wrote, please remember her for how she lived with love, joy, humor, and sincere compassion for everyone she came into contact with.